Hi, I'm Rebecca. Uh, I'm here with Theo. He's gonna cut my hair. I've been here before and it was all shaved up and just one bang over. Uh, right now I have the Charlize Theron Eon Flux model. I had it for a few years and Theo can choose at his willing to keep it this way, shave it short or anything in between. As long anything longer as five centimeters, he takes care of my curls because they make the look. And uh, I want a, a haircut that's not one in a million, but stands out in a crowd. So uh, okay. Wait, turn he around. can hit the floor. Yeah, hit it. Nice curly effect. Going. Yeah, that's not you. And my last video was five years ago, together with my daughter. Um, they have been filmed just yet, my two daughters by now. Um, and the other one was nine years ago, really short. And the other one was about 12 years ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to see you for a long, long time. <laughs> and I had my hair and all. Start on the back. Start with protection, of course. Very important. Yeah. Now I really like her curly hair. I'm gonna try a new product on her and well, I think it gives it also to support hair because her hair is a bit dry of coloring and I, the outgrow I really like. So I'm gonna work with this. Start by wetting the hair like I always do. Put in a little bit of uh, conditional spray. My hair is going to soak it up. Yeah, and with the new products it will shine like hell and gives you a wonderful color, so that's what I like about that. Brush it through with the Olivia Garden brush. They are not so fine. They are really good. But you have to have everyone in The only problem you have with the Olivia Garden brush is you have to have one your own because it takes all the uh, all the bacteria but also all the greases of your own skin and hair and brings it to the end so that's the best conditioner you can get but also hair pulling is a good conditioner but I don't do this now because you still have to color it is a synthetic hair so that you can take it daarom zit ik al hier aan te denken om Ik heb een zwijnenhaar te gaan, omdat hij daar ook niet zijn zo duur. Ja, maar die moet je niet doen. Gereed aan. Oh, die staan allemaal onbekend dat ze dat ja, vet ja, goed bij, bij vrouwen met heel lang haar. Wel oh. even. Maakt niet uit. Take the hair saw. I create my first guideline. I do this around here. Then on that line, I make the party till behind the ear. Leave the front to the front. Get rid of a lot of that dry hair. All the red stuff. Yeah, all the red stuff. Uh, it was black once. <laughs> yeah, now we have black that stays black till the end. It's a product of kin. Even when you bleach it? Even when you bleach it. Wow. Circle around like a clock. So for those who don't know the clock, I part it till behind the ear. When I stand on this side, for you it would be one o'clock. Take a new line on, two o'clock. And I really like to travel around a person. So don't stand on one place, go stand straight in focus with that what you do. And I can already feel that I come at a good hair, strong. You can also hear it because you hear this ultra yeah, sharp scissor working on the hairs. I've always had really thick healthy hair. You had. Mm, <laughs> still, still strong hair. But the roots are still strong. Yeah. It's just the bleached part that is. Uh, <laughs> well, but now this part is not that damaged. And even 
for bleached hair. It's not that bad. No. Part the front. From behind the ear to the front. Set it aside. Connect the first line on this line. So go in, shape it. And then turn with the skull around. It's a freehand style of cutting. You cut a bit like uh, when you do it with a knife, but now I do it, of course, with a scissor. But you can see what I do because the scissor is between the fingers and the skull. So this way you can see what's happening between the hairs and my fingers. And the skull, of course. So can we really make a good shape on it. Do the same on this side. Pull the hairs behind the ear to the back, from front to the front. Turn it aside. Pull the hairs behind the ear to the back. From front to the front. Turn it aside. And we have to leave it in the car and we have to over two minutes to make it all right. Yeah. I like this now, it's crazy. Yeah, you just press the pulse. So again, go in. Watch what I have between my fingers and the skull lines and go in and shape it around the skull. This you can do of course with curly hair because they have the best effect on this. It don't have to be perfect, only the lines have to be perfect. And the hairs go wild. So now I have already a better shape, so now I can do the under hair with scissor over comb techniques. Go in on the skull bone and give it a new shape. First take off some hair so I can see the shape of the skull bone, otherwise you cannot see anything. So now take a clipper, take the fine part of my comb, push against the hair fold, Go out on the skull bone. And she has a very interesting implant on the ass. It goes all the ways. Just like Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. My hair is not really nice. It's best to do all the filaments. Yeah. 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 Ja. Ik wil gewoon veel plezier dat mensen doen wat ze op school kan leren hebben. En dan is er gewoon achterblijven staan. Ja, gewoon stijf erachter staan. Ik, ik merk zelf, als ik bijvoorbeeld hier kijk, en je blijft erachter staan, dan ga je even met je arm eroverheen. En dan ja. heb je je vingers iets dikker op een andere plek. Dan ja. krijg je toch altijd net een andere hoek. Ja, dat is. Maar als je eromheen loopt, kun je je vingers gewoon standaard in dezelfde positie houden. Dan ja. krijg je een veel mooiere lijn. Ja. Dan hoef je er ook niet over na te denken over de lijn, want je kunt die. die, die Je volgt gewoon die lijn die je al had. Ja. Zonder mijn keuze. Mm.
ons stagiair, ik ga binnenkort links van mijn les krijgen van Meren. Want die is linksom. Ja. Also on Rebecca, I make a little tattoo art. I really like it to shape this. Now we still can because it's not summertime in the Netherlands, so we don't have skin burn. So now I still the longer parts left, but also a little bit of that soft curly effect. But I really like it a bit, a bit, not too much. So I turn it. So now I take the line in front of the line of parting, take the hair to the back, watch where the line of cutting is, go again from the underline up to the line of cutting. Take away a lot of the dry ends because the ends are really dry and ultra fine of bleaching. But still you can hear them. Remember that I have always the same line to work in, so this line is straight down from the front to the back. So this vertical line, I pass through the line on the back, correct the line that I did in freehand style. You see it's not much that I have to correct, it's just a little bit. Make sure every hair behind the ear is also with it. There's always two or three that's hiding between the lines. Turn a bit so you can see it on this way also. Take the first line, it's about two centimeters from the line of parting in the freehand style. Take the hairs to the back, hold them straight, my fingers. Connect them on this line. Do also minor correction on the line of freehand style. Take all the lines, also that that behind the ears, get into it. So now I have a more stronger line. Also take a little bit down on the line, I'll show you that. On the line of the skull bone, the skull bone is this line. So I take this line and cop copy it to the underline. Take off only a small part. It's also on this side, it's the better side of our hair. It's a little bit more thick. Go to the front. Find me a way to part hairs. Watch when I lay them down. It's always hard with curly hair to find the perfect line. Then go to the front. Okay, I made a parting line. Take the hairs up, gonna use the angle, I use a natural angle, and I work till I get on top. Do this only on the parting line, otherwise the hairs on the side will be too, too thin. Also again working like a clock, just jangling, shifting to the sides. Find a connection to the line on the back. It's six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Little time.
point cuts on top. And I want to remain the rest over of the blonde color because there I can do yeah, funny things with we have shampoos and conditioners in all colors. And Rebecca is yeah really wonderful in color. So I travel once over this line. I started when I was 19, 20. Yeah, coloring. With all the strange colors, yes. Yeah. So I'm having strange colors in my hair now for 22 years. Don't tell them that. Oh, I don't mind. I still have a young mind. Yeah. And with age comes experience also. You learn something. Yeah. Every age has its own unique qualities. So the only nasty thing is your body doesn't always agree with you. <laughs> Again, watch at the beautiful lines of a skull. And what also is a very privilege is that Rebecca has strong eyes. She has a strong personality. So whatever you put on her head, she is always in control. <laughs> That's also nice. I can handle a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. But as a hairdresser, you have to be aware of that. I wear the hair and the hair doesn't wear me. That's the way to do it. So now I have a small fringe line, but also sideburns a bit longer, almost the earring. On both sides. This I can jump up and I have free style tattoo lines in the neckline. So I'm going to wash this hair and tell you which color I use on her. So for Rebecca I made uh, two colors, I make photo of the colors, so this is a conditional color. I take a soft violet and a purple color, half half, and a blue color in the back. They are both conditioners, so there is no developer in it. But I really like the products because they are really soft, nice smelling, very nursing for the skin. And I think the future of uh, color, coloring crazy colors will lay certainly by this kind of colors. Because you get the best condition of hair. Coat. <laughs> ah, it's cold. It's in this, now in the studio it's about uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Which is really hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to think for me as a boy from the Netherlands. And then this, uh, this coloring is really cold on the skin. Dan heb ik het niet van koud en warm op mijn hoofd hoor. Maar... Mix those violet colors into each other. Ah, leuk, zo lekker. Nou, hij stinkt niet meer. Kijk. Ja, die is echt. Nee, hij stinkt niet. Ik heb ze wel eens dan maar gevoel. Dit apply, of course, all over haar. Huh? And the natural color will be darker, of course, of color, but the ends will be yeah, stunning. This color I also use a lot in the salon on older people when they're gray and they don't want to lose the gray, but they still want to have color. This is the way to do it. And this you give some heat for about 15 minutes and then rinse it out. On top of this, I lay a plastic foil because then I can work with the blue, blue piece color from the back. Walk into the space chair. You can see it's a real Aries blue. Okay, so far this color. So this I close up, Cooking. just pull it over it. Cookie monster. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> tell anyone. Go this time I use a clip. Gonna give this 50 minutes with some heat and then we're back. <laughs> <That's good>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she just talks and talks and talks. Start uh, blow drying. 
take uh, off kin line a pink ribbon curl activating it's nursing the curls and I don't use much and it smells really nice it's really sweet sweet product sweet Jesus oh my god it's like strawberry jam yeah This I comb through the hairs. I'm gonna blow dry the hairs with uh, the use of a diffuser because I want the curly effect into it and only not on the front. Er zijn mensen met wie je meer tijd boot brengt dan met je beste vrienden en je familie. En daar kan ik niks horen. Dat is zo awesome. Maar dat is niet, dat is de Nou kijk, zo lief dat net dat ze weg gaan. Maar die jongens ook. Die zijn sociaal omdat ik gezegd heb dat dat hoort. Maar daarmee zijn ze socialer dan een hoop mensen die ik ken. Ja. Ja, leuk is dat hè? Ja. Uh, ja. Ik ben het laatste jaar al wat egoïstisch geworden. Ja, maar dat heb ik wel niet. Het is zonder vrouw van de EQS, maar zo belangrijk. En nog hoor. Nog zet ik mijn... Uh... Nog zet ik... So far, blow dry. Het moet spanky. Hier heb ik het te zeggen. On Rebecca, I use of course the golden oil of Lanza. The healing oil. Makes it a little less fluffy. Yeah, a little less, a lot less fluffy. Makes it shiny. Ik gebruik zelf altijd jojoba olie. Of je ziet dat op het flesje dat het conditioner is en dat je het dan moet uitspoelen. Nee, maar ja, dat hoef je niet te doen. Dat doe ik nooit. Nee, vind ik maar niet interessant. Ik vind het juist fijn als er, uh, het zit er gewoon in en dan houdt het mijn haren tenminste een beetje. Maar ik zeg, vroeger deed ik heel veel in, dan wou ik echt die wet doek en dat doe ik tegenwoordig niet meer. Hierboven zit er een paard. <laughs> Ja, dat klinkt goed door, hè? Ja, het is echt heel veel heavy maken. Kijk, ik weet niet wat dat voor kleren ding is die erop zit. Voor mij is die 200 kilo en die springt af en toe van een stoel en zo. Ja, zoiets. Gewoon een ernstig plekje te hebben waar je heel veel rust hebt. Ja. Zoals dit bijvoorbeeld. Weet je hoe lekker het is hier om je tussen met elkaar even te pitten? Ja, het is gewoon... Uh... Ik thuis denk maar waarom ga je nou zo laat naar bed? Waarom kom je niet samen aan mij? Ik zeg hem ik even. Rustig even. Een half uurtje voor mezelf. Even, even afgaan. Use a little bit of spray on the back end. Not too much, just to finish it. Then I take off her cape. I thank her for being my mom. I thank you for watching. You're welcome. She will turn around to show you the end result. We see each other next video. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Wat een lekkere kleur. And, uh, I want a, a haircut that's not one in a million, but stands out in a crowd. So, uh, okay. Wait, turn we around. can hit the floor. Yeah. Hit that. Nice curly effect. Going. Yeah. Let's start with you.